Okay, welcome to a new episode of Nate's MMA Corner. I'm Nate, and if you watch my show, you're in my corner. Today's episode is a post-fight show for UFC uh, 271, Adesanya versus Whitaker Part 2. Um, so post-fight rundown on the main card with my afterthoughts, as always. And, um, yeah, to kick off the main card in the lightweight division, we had Bobby Green defeat Nazrat Hakporast by decision unanimous. It was just a striking clinic. Uh, pretty much the entire way through, outpointed Nazrat and en route to unanimous decision victory for Bobby Green. Great performance. Really kept him at bay. Really threw in some good jabs and some good hooks. And, yeah, did his thing. Won a decision. Then, and also in the lightweight division, we had Hanato Moicano defeat Alexander Hernandez. Submission, uh, rear naked choke, round two. And this was a uh, great great win for Nazret, I mean, um, Hanato, and, uh, yeah, he really put his jiu-jitsu skills at work, and I knew once he got dominant positions on the ground that it was going to be a bad night for Alexander, and sure enough, it was. Uh, then in the middleweight division, we had Jared Cannonier defeat Derek Brunson, uh, KO elbows round two. I think this was an early stoppage, um... You know, I, I think the ref should have let it go on a little bit longer. But was it the worst stoppage? No. Did Jared, you know, would he have probably most likely won had the ref um, let it go on? Yeah, he, he probably would have won. Um, but I think given the stakes, given this matchup um, and given how Derek was looking in the first round give you know they should have gave Derek uh, the, the rough should have gave Derek a little bit more uh, leeway to get back in um, but um, yeah Jared did his thing he weathered the storm in the first round and got the KO elbow finish um, in the second round then in the heavyweight division in the co-main event we had Tai Tuivasa defeat Derek Lewis. This was a barn burner KO elbow uh, round two, um, and you saw Derek Lewis just fall to the ground. And yeah, this one was definitely not an early stoppage. This one was the right call by the ref, and he was yeah Derek was clearly out. And yeah, I think maybe Derek just got a little overzealous and um, yeah maybe just picked his shots more and then maybe. Um, had he gone for like a takedown or something later in the round or uh, round three, you know, and then maybe submit tied to Avasa, um, that might have worked. But um, yeah, this was um, a tough, hard fought fight on both sides, and the better fighter tonight won. But I think if they fought the mid, you know, 10 times, I think Derek would definitely win some of those. Um, but yeah. Um, Tied to Avasa, real deal, and he's in heavyweight title contention now as far as I'm concerned because he just finished the number three ranked guy. Then in the mi middleweight division for the UFC middleweight title in the main event, we had Israel Adesanya, the champion, uh, going up against Robert Whitaker, the former champion, and it was decision unanimous, 48-47 on two of the judges, 49-46 on um, one of the other judges. And... Um, you know, I looked at the stats here, and it was, you know, Israel outlanded four of the five rounds on, on strikes, and so I don't, I don't really see how um, Whitaker won two of the five rounds. Um, I could argue maybe one round, but um, and some people are saying this is a robbery. I don't think this was a robbery. I think Israel won the fight fair and square, and. The right person got the right decision and it wasn't the most exciting fight but it was a technical fight on both sides and it definitely wasn't the worst fight ever or anything like that but yeah um izzy wins defends his title and i just want to point out izzy acknowledged um his interim title defense when he fought robert the first time how robert was the champ and he was interim champ and that's a title defense on his interim belt. I totally 100% agree with that. And, um, yeah, I just want to point that out to fans because, yeah, for Brice over Doom, when he fought Cain Velasquez, he was interim champ. He defended that interim title. Conor McGregor, interim featherweight champ, defeats uh, 
you know, Aldo, and, you know, that's essentially a, a title defense. Um, so, yeah, interim titles are belts. You know, if, it, if you have a gold belt around your waist, and it says UFC champ, you know, you're a UFC champ, uh, whether it's interim or undisputed, whatever, you know, champ's champ. Anyways, uh, that's my thoughts, and I'm glad Israel um, agrees with me on that. Finally, finally, someone very well-known in the industry finally points that out. Uh, GSP defended interim title as well um, and became undisputed champ in the mix. Um, there you have it. There's my post-fight rundown of this card. Stay tuned for uh, Johnny Walker versus um, uh, Jamal Hill here. And... Um, Stay tuned for my pre-fight of that in the light heavyweight division. Until then, see ya. Oh, and also, yeah, stay tuned for um, my unboxing and my thoughts on the VIP experience coming soon. And until then, yeah, see ya.